Body cam has really good graphics, and you may think that means you need a 4090 to play the game, but the game's minimum requirements say otherwise. As long as you have an i7 and a somewhat decent graphics card, you can have a nice looking game while still hitting 60 FPS, which is when the game feels its best. First off, start by going to your party settings, switching to private, then host a game on a map, then jump out of the plane. When you're on the ground, take a look at your FPS. If you don't have an FPS counter, press shift and tab to bring up the Steam overlay. Go to settings, in-game, then in-game FPS counter and set it to whatever you want. Now for the settings, by default, at least for me, everything is set to epic. If you aren't at 60 FPS, the first thing you wanna do is go to your display settings and switch to full screen mode. Right now it resets every time you quit the game, so don't forget to turn it back on later. Then you can move to your graphics settings. Start by turning AMD FS3 to quality or balanced, then go back to your game and see if it helps. If you still need more FPS, then I suggest turning on FSR3 before going into the graphics settings. If that doesn't help, slowly turn down your texture settings until you get to medium, then if you really have to, turn the global illumination down to low. If you try to set it to medium and high, it'll just go to low. But having global illumination turned to low makes the game look kind of bad. Body cam is designed to work with high quality graphics and turning the other settings down to medium can help a little bit, but I think this game for what it's presenting is fairly optimized. And we're going into some newer games that are gonna require better computers. If you wanna play this game with a controller, you can configure your controls to the Steam controller settings. With your controller plugged in, bring up the Steam overlay, go to your controller settings, and click edit layout. Then it's as simple as matching the key binds to your buttons. Make sure to bind a crouch button. You can't have multiple actions bound to one button and they need to add more toggle options for leaning and sprinting. But for now, it's the best you can do and it plays pretty well. If this video helped you out at all, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.